Hello, beautiful Pisces, and welcome to your message. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess. So if this is your first time here, welcome to the tribe. Be sure to subscribe if you resonate with the energy and the message, of course. I really appreciate it. It does help the channel grow, but more than anything, it helps the algorithm, and it helps these beautiful messages get out to who needs them. So thank you for being here, everyone, and co-creating with the messages. Okay, here we go for Pisces. Whoa, hello, that was crazy. Flew out at 38 seconds, which is master number 11. Enlightenment, new beginnings. Could be like connected to twin flame energy. Let's see. But it's funny because it's the mirror. The 11 mirrors each other and look at that, it's the mirror. So that's gonna be a sign immediately for you guys. You guys are getting a lot of that 11s, 11, 11. Um, you know, that's one of the numbers that I'm receiving a lot of too over the past several days. I'm seeing a ton of like numbers that break down to 11, you know what I mean? Like 713 or 317 or 38 or 83 or, you know, things like that. Card number 21 breaks down to a three. Know thyself, self-examination, and seeing who you really are. So you guys could be actually doing mirror work for healing. Okay. For connecting to yourself, your physical body, learning to really love and embrace all facets, all parts of yourself to release the shadow energy as far as like, you know, the stuff that makes you not like yourself or makes you judge yourself in that in that context, in that regard. You're seeing who you truly are, why you're really here. There's a lot of falling away, things falling away. Um, I just did Aquarius's reading and Aquarius is an air sign, but I felt very called to use this deck, the mermaid oracle um, for them because I could feel the watery energy around them at this time. You guys are a water sign and I feel that same energy where it's very, it's like you're really in your element, your elemental energy at this time. Um, or you need to connect to it, okay? Mermaids could be resonant for you guys. You could be very connected to ocean life, right? Um, obviously the water element, um, but mermaids in particular, dolphins, things like that. Lemuria, Atlantis. You guys may want to actually watch Aquarius's reading. You know, it's really honestly like who cares about the zodiac? Meaning, like if you don't have it in your chart or whatever, it's okay. Like, I feel that you guys will really resonate with a lot of the stuff in their reading, if not like the whole message. Know thyself, self-examination. So you're really going within. You've been going within. Um, you know, I'm getting like embracing that other people are mirrors to us. So what am I being shown in this moment with this situation? What am I, what is the lesson here? Or what is the healing teachable moment here? So I feel that you guys have been really doing that with that self-examination. You guys have been looking at self instead of judging outwardly or, you know, condemning outwardly or whatever, you know, you want to say. Many people are, they're, they're going within, they're seeing within. Because that's where it starts, is with self, within self. Yeah, so transparency. Being honest, authentic, genuine, and present. Yep. And with all that purpley energy, purple could be significant. You might be seeing just a lot of purple. Maybe you're starting to see auras. Maybe you, you're connecting to your own aura. Maybe someone told you your aura. I don't know. But I do get that for a lot of you guys out there, the Pisces uh, Collective, that for many of you guys, one of your big orc colors is purple, lavender, or like a really beautiful blue like this. Not like a dark blue, but like a like a sea blue, you know, like a light Caribbean blue or something of that nature. Very tranquil, very calming. Your third eye is very lit. And then the, the throat chakra is um, also, so there's a lot of like speaking your truth, authentic, honest, genuine, yeah, transparency, letting your words be transparent, saying what you mean and meaning what you say, you know, 
um, not being so reactive, being more observant. Again, like seeing the mirror in the situation at hand, okay? <clears throat> the authentic energy here, the honesty and transparency, you're really seeing yourself on a, on a genuine level. You're aligning to your truth. You're learning to be more present in, in, these, in, these, in these now moments, meaning these moments are fleeting in, in a sense. And it's like when we're constantly worrying about tomorrow or later on today or next week or, you know, whatever, or... Wow. There's really loud thunder in the sky, you guys. Did you guys hear that? It like rattled the house, the window. That's crazy. We've had like, it's sprinkling here and there throughout the day today, but it's overcast and cloudy. That was crazy. That was a really loud rumbling through the sky. So the thunder is rolling here. I don't even remember what I was saying before this. Wow. Okay, you guys may, may need to rewind that and like turn your volume all the way up to like hear it. But because I don't know how loud it would be on your end, but for me, it was loud. It literally shook my house. And it was just, it just rolled right over in the clouds because now it's quiet. I don't see any lightning because I'm looking out the window here as I'm channeling. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I was just like, you know, kind of just shuffling while I was saying that. And then this is drawing me in. See this darkness going from darkness to light. That's you guys. You've had a lot of like divine um, assistance, helpers, support, saviors, really guiding you and, and pushing you back up to the light. Um, for some of my light worker star seeds out there, you guys may have actually experienced an NDE or something close to that. Um, that maybe was a catalyst for uh, awakening or things of that nature, okay? It's not uncommon. Um, I think many of you guys are mediums, like where you guys connect to people on the other side. You're also very sensitive. These are part of your spiritual gifts, okay? It's not gonna be for everyone. This, these parts are probably gonna resonate with, you know, I mean, probably, you know, a decent amount of you. There's something here, though, where you connect with, with people, you know, spirit souls from the, um, you know, in the astral, where they can come through to you, and it's very healing work. It's like where they can come through, and you're able to be a medium to their, their death experience. So maybe you are able to relay certain things to their family members or, you know, but it's like where well, you're doing it for work, but you're also just doing it to help. It's something about like being a, a medium and a channel for the, for the soul, for whoever's coming through. You help that, that, that energy, that person or that soul is what I want to say. <laughs> okay. Rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. So you guys are really in a place where you guys are breaking free. And, and the divine is really helping many of you guys lift from these darker places to the light. But it's also about you. And many of you guys are helping other people in that aspect. Or you're meant to. Healers. You know. I'm hearing goddess energy. Goddess energy. You know, man or woman, it, that part can be for you. I'm getting like, you know, high priestess, which is Pisces energy, and the high priest, the hierophant. There's that loud thunder. Wow. That is crazy loud. I'm gonna open the window a bit. Like, when there's thunder, there's lightning somewhere. 
Okay, so I don't know how that's representative to you guys, but it's happened now twice in your message. Okay, and I've been with clients and I've been working all day today. And it's been like this since this morning. Three, three, three of cups, three of wands together. Okay, so three, three is a significant number here or three, three, three. The ascended masters are showing up. Again, you have a lot of divine support. Well, that's what I was saying. Many of you guys are rescuing yourselves and you're being divinely helped to pull you guys out of situations or self-restricted, self-limited things that you do to self where you keep yourself in a cage or you keep yourself stuck or, you know, like that. They're helping you break free. You're getting a lot of divine support to help you find strength to break free from, from um, captivity and restriction. It's rescue, soul rescue from the soul cage or the physical cage that you keep your soul in, right? Something like that. Okay? But this is about, see, your, your, your soul family, your star family, connecting from the cosmos to, to, the, to the earth, okay? You're getting a lot of support. This is also about like your soul tribe, people that are coming into your life, being revealed to you, shown to you, coming into your life through different situations, circumstances, um, platforms, things of that nature that are here to help guide you. They're messengers. They're help to bring healing, um, faith, um, alignment, you know, wisdom, whatever it is, guidance to you, okay? To help you know what your next move is. This is a card of, there it is. This is very powerful thunder, wow. Crazy. Okay. All right, so again with the color purple, okay? Um, it's like following the voice of your soul, but they're like holding you through this. And you're gonna know what your next moves are. You're gonna know um, when, to, when, to, when to catch the wave, per se. This is about your ships arriving too. But there's something here where it's like there's never a right time. Spirit wants you to know that. There's never a right time. You gotta just jump. That's gonna be, yes, you stop deceiving yourselves. Now the other message here is, I think that there is a, like a divine masculine energy or a, um, I'll go through all these in just a moment with you guys. There's the Hierophant. Another three, 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 three. Okay. So I think that for some of you guys, you know, maybe you've been deceiving yourself in a connection or a situation, a job, something where you were just there because it was stability, it was comfort, it was just kind of like what you were used to and what you've known. Okay, but you're now in a place where you're walking away from those things, you're facing the shadow aspects, doing shadow work, and you're you're taking you're taking back control. You're walking towards your light, towards your sun, towards your bliss. You're tired of feeling like you're drowning in life. Okay, if I feel like this is you guys. Okay, so it's either you're you're feeling this now, or this is something that you have been feeling, or have felt and overcome. But this is also someone, Pisces, that you connect to who's going through this or feeling this for many of you guys. Like I said, probably a divine masculine. The blue moon that we just had, okay, like what, a couple weeks ago, it, was a, it really helped balance out things here. It really woke people up and brought forth enlightenment on a massive grand scale. Okay, whether people realize it or not, it, it did, it has. Today, I'm recording your guys' message on the 99 portal, September 9th, 2023, but it's still timeless. Whenever you find this is when you're divinely meant to find this message to help you. 
you have someone here that you started building towards the Ten of Pentacles. Right as I say that, look, seven, three and pent plus, oh my gosh, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> three of Pentacles plus seven of Pentacles equals Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. And there's the Ace, which is essentially the the new beginning. It's the it's the it's the one after the ten per se, right? It's the it's that confirming everything I'm talking about right now. This could be your a runner, okay? This could be a runner, a soulmate, or a twin flame energy like that. Um, this could also be someone from your past that just has some kind of regret maybe they right had some kind of enlightenment faced their own shadow done some work and they may re have some regrets and apologies that they want to bring forth i do get that but i do feel that for a lot of you guys this is a runner who feels it's time to to catch the wave pisces this is someone who wants to be together in the physical with you. They view you as family, as, as a soulmate. They're, they're people. This is probably, like I said, many of you guys could be this too, but like I said, this is someone who has been deceiving themselves by staying in the illusion of a stable structure, of a stable relationship. They turn their back on you. They turn their back on you. After the Ace of Pentacles, the, the magician, that's what this person is manifesting. They're manifesting completion in their life so that they can go in a new direction, have new beginnings and have freedom. The fool. The fool goes after the, the, the world card. This person has been waking up more and more and more. And the more that they become enlightened spiritually, the more that they feel the love emotionally, the more that they have fallen deeper and deeper and deeper in love with you. Okay, someone could have reddish hair, dreadlocks, um, or maybe at one point you did or they did, I don't know. Also the long blonde hair here is really pulling me in. Tribal tattoos, tattoos of that nature. Someone could do macrame. Could be a, um, you know, something you do for work, business, um, or as a passion project. Maybe you're being called to macrame. Someone, I feel, this, I feel this person, right? I just, I keep getting called to the four, the four, the fourth house, the home, the home, the walls, the, the, the direct, you know, what's around them and then look at two you have that 11 11. i just saw 18 08 so 188 basically you do have the zero there amplification okay you could be dealing with another water sign it doesn't have to be but this is definitely oh there he is there he is and then more water energy with scorpio death card again this is someone who's gone through a massive shift a transformation death and rebirth their heart chakra is wide open now, Pisces. And their manifesting is powerful right now. They've been, yeah, they've been reconnected to their own divinity and they are making moves, moves, okay, that are divinely guided, okay, by the higher self, by, by, you know, archangels, ancestors. They are literally like, look at this. You see that? Okay. A glimmer of hope is what I'm getting. Yeah, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune after the Death card. Nothing but luck, prosperity. Look at this. Back to back, King and Queen of Swords showing up. And then Eight of Wands. You're about to be face to face with someone here. They want to talk face to face. They've been dreaming up ways, things to say. This is all about honesty, clarity, um, you know, balance, a breakthrough. This is someone who wants you to know, like, you can trust me. I'm very honest and honorable. Things are picking up speed here very quickly, Pisces. Very quickly, things are picking up. A lot of passionate communication. Manifestations hitting. This is a time of you guys receiving abundance. Things that bring uh, um, 
you know, solid energy to your life, stability, things that are long lasting with this Ace of Pentacles. A long lasting commitment. This is good fortune. You've overcome so much. The wheel is turning in your favor now. This is also about this person, this DM energy. They're making moves now that turns the wheel in their life, moves them forward to, to bigger, better things. Destined things. This is destiny, fate, the wheel of karma. Jupiter energy, expansive energy, growth, making stable changes, luck, abundance, you know, but there's no such thing as luck per se. It's not by chance. It's literally alignment. I love this. I think this is amazing. I think you guys, for many of you guys, right, it's, it's either a twin flame where it's like, it's, or, or a very evolved, like soulmate connection where you guys, like I said, your old souls, past life soulmate energy. We have a lot of old ancient energy walking on earth at this time because we are needed on earth at this time to bring forth our ancient knowledge, wisdoms, everything. Many people walking on earth at this time will ascend into their masterful selves through this incarnation and tying up and integrating all of their past incarnations in. You help save this person. You, you help show them the light. You brought them towards the light by being you, by being your most authentic, true form and self. It's not like, oh my gosh, this person, what if they see my true self, the real me, you know, they wake up and see I'm just a mermaid, you know, they're going to freak out, right? You didn't care. You knew that there was more bigger things going on here. Okay. It's just, it's beautiful. It's, of course, that's like, you know, symbol, symbol blah, symbolism, <laughs> but it's the truth. This person is not afraid of your magical self, your true form either. The people who judge, who write, people are fearful of what they don't understand and what they don't know, what they can't conceptualize, right? So 2222, as I say this, um, so you're being, of course, guided and given and rewarded your people that aren't, that aren't going to judge you, right? That aren't, that are going to embrace every unique quality and magical part of yourself. Okay. Endings bring new beginnings. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So for some of you guys, this could be future influence too, where like, you know, maybe you haven't quite met this person yet, and maybe you're going through these, uh, closing of cycles and, and things of that nature or whatever, right? Or maybe, you know, this person is, is gearing up to do this on their end. I don't know. But for a lot of you guys, it's happening now. Okay. It's happening now. Things just pick up speed. The things that you've been dreaming of, thinking of, you know, here's the thing too, you guys, is there's something with not doubting, um, what you're being shown. Like, don't doubt that. Don't doubt your gifts. Don't doubt the signs. Don't doubt, you know, what you're being shown about the soulmate, you know, because there's a lot of telepathic communication with you and the universe, with you and this other person, with you and your spirit guides, you know? So, you know, don't doubt that, okay? And um, if this is your message, like I said, be sure to claim it as yours liking and if you are new here subscribe to the channel thank you so much for for tying your energy in for um supporting and for helping this video reach other people deception taking off masks see how the, the little cherub is untying the mask it's the divine it's 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 beautiful and with this nine nine portal that we're going to be in for the next, you know, for me, it's probably like nine, no, it's like up to the next, it's like, they say nine days, but the, it's like the energy like still kind of hovers around. So for me, it's like, you know, the next like 12 days or so probably like we'll really be feeling it and then it'll like, you know, but we'll still, it'll still be there. But the nine is the end of the cycles. It's completion. And it's for me, it's completion of the old patterning. It's completion of the old ways. That's what this energy is bringing in and helping the collective with. 
Look, yeah, exactly. Let go of control issues. Exactly. Allow the situations to unfold naturally. Pay attention to the red flags. Look at the signs are cautioning you. Spirit and the universe is communicating 24 seven. And then engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So yes, you could be going through an ending, but it's because you're meant for a new beginning, a higher level of love and commitment. Okay. But it's also, um, someone coming in where this, it's like, this is the one, this is the one you spend your life with. Um, and I feel like this person, whoever they are, they see this too. They're letting go of the control in their own life. They're paying attention. They're seeing the red flags with karmic situations, partners. They were ignoring them, but now they're not ignoring them. And it's also for you guys. Don't, don't be in denial and don't ignore what you don't want to face or what you don't want to see. This is like a time to see everything is what I get, especially with this portal energy right now. And I will be doing a little message on the 99 portal um, today. So um, if you you know are watching this, it'll be posted a little bit later, okay? So anyways, this is what I have, my loves. I send so much love. Thank you again. Um, if you guys want to book a twin flame reading with me, a general reading, um, a 20 minute vent sesh, or a past life Akashic reading, you can find all the information down below in the description box. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Mwah. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I almost forgot for you guys too. Um, as I go through the zodiacs, I'm just doing a little light language uh, clearing and healing for you guys. So if you wish to receive that, we will do that right now. All you have to do is nod your head, giving permission, I consent. Um, and if you don't wish to receive this, you can just click off. All right. Okay, so here we go. Take a deep breath in, hold for just a few seconds, and then exhale slowly, but also powerfully with everything that you've got. You're gonna be releasing everything, okay? So here we go. Push out, push out, exhale, exhale, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let go of everything, I let go of the chains that bind me, I let go of fear, I let go of failure, I let go of worry, I let go of doubt, I let go of shame, I let go, I let go, I let go, I let go of anger, I let go, I let go, I let go, I let go of the pain, I let go, I let go, I let go, the grief, I let it go, I let it go, I let it go, I let it go, the loss, I let it go, I let it go, I let it go, here we go. So it is. Oh. All right, my loves, that's what I have for you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Mwah. Be sure to drink lots of water as this is a healing that will continue on. It's quantum. It's not just ending right here. Um, honor your body. You know, if you feel a little tired, you want to take a nap or you start yawning, um, that's always a possibility with these kinds of healings. Um, let me know in the comments what you felt, if you felt anything. Some people do, some people don't. It's fine. Again, it's energetic, but you can feel it physically at, at, you know, in the moment sometimes. Um, anyways, I send love. Thank you again. Bye.